For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Let's see what is NS client and how the NS client and Nagios will communicate each other so in order to get the monitoring status from the Nagios. So let's see that if you have the example the Nagios server here and um, you have the Nagios installed in it and um, you already have the check underscore NT plugin which is available on the Nagios server and you have the remote windows machine. So you have installed NS client plus plus on that remote machine and with listening on 12489. So what happens is that Nagios sends the check underscore NT request command uh, so check logic command to the remote windows machine to the NS client on the 12489 port then say that hey what is your CPU utilization so then what happens is that the NS client will execute its local CPU uh, logic or the CPU script and uh, say that okay this is my CPU utilization and it's in the uh, results to the Nagios server. So in similar way, what happens sir? So every scheduled time, so every five minutes, so the check underscore NT as per our schedule, we have, we are using the every five minutes as the scheduler. Then every five minutes, the check underscore NT logic will go and ask the NS client, hey, what is your CPU? What is your memory? And what is your disk space? And all this, whatever the uh, commands or the whatever the status you add define on the Nagios server so then it will um, ping to the Nagios NS client and ask for the status then what happens the so NS client will execute these plugins on that local machine then it's return the status to the Nagios server so what exactly is the NS client and what it will do? So NS client is an agent designed originally to work with Nagios, but has since evolved into fully fledged monitoring agent, which can be used with numerous monitoring tools like uh, Async, uh, Nemon, OP5, NetEye, OPSU. There are so many other tools which NS client supports. So this is exactly the communication between the NS client and the Nagios. So let's see uh, Windows Server requirements. So when you want to install the NS client, what is the uh, required packages you have and what is the requirement you have from the Windows Server side. So minimum you should have the free space on the C drive is 150 MB. So if you do not have that much space, you cannot install the NS client. So required administrator privileges to install the NS client plus plus port communication between the uh, Nagios and the Windows. So if you have any firewalls in between the uh, Windows, remote Windows server and the Nagios server, then you have to open 12489 port communication and backward to the Nagios to Windows and Windows to Nagios. And start service, NS client, that's, th that's all we required from the Windows. And steps to process, so how we can uh, process this further so download the ns client plus plus from the website and install this ns client plus plus windows host on the windows host and define the template so first of all what you have to do so you have to define the template not just server for what is the host template so you have to define the plugin and the commands on the windows side as well and be, define the commands in the Nagios core configuration. So you have to define the commands in the uh, Windows as well, the Windows server as well, and the NS client plus plus as well as on the Nagios server. So define the host config and service configuration files. So example, the host checks and the service checks. Verify Nagios config checks. So example, whatever the config you have added, check that and reload the Nagios service to take effect. Example, if you do not reload the um, services after adding any uh, new configuration, the new host, then it does not affect on the Nagios server. That's all. So let's jump into the practical and see how you can add this into the Nagios. 
so now let's uh, open the remote desktop connection to the remote server so here which is 192.168.29.202 and connect and uh, more actions and provide the uh, username dot slash administrator so I do not have any other users created for that uh, so that I'm using the default administrator account and provide the password let's say OK and yes so now I just logging into the remote Windows server which is an Active Directory server which is 2019 so now I just uh, head over to my get repository and in that not just repository I have already uploaded this uh, NS client plus plus package so I'm downloading it from here let's click on download and uh, add into the trusted sites then say download so save it and the package is safe whenever the download completes then we run this setup So now download completed, open the folder and let's run this setup. So click next here and select the generic one and click complete installation and next. And here provide the Nacho server IP address and password. So comma separated value here. So 192.168.29.200. So that is our server IP address and I am just providing the password as password. Then tick mark the all these settings and install the NRP as well. And tick mark this settings and click next. So we, didn't, we don't need the web uh, server option and click install so it will take a few minutes then installation should be complete so now finish so the installation is completed now let's go to the services.msc so the service management and let's see that service is started if it is started just restart it services You can this, see this service window and you can just look for NS client plus plus here. So the service is already started. I'm just restarting it. Make sure that the service is listening. Okay. So now head back to the uh, Najo server and define the services. So add this host into the monitoring. So now here. I am into the Najo server. So what I'm doing is that I'm just going to grab the IP address of this Windows server. So let's see that IP config and uh, grab this IP address 192.168.29.202. And let's verify that whether we, we could able to uh, communicate with the client or not. So using the check underscore ND, I have an H and provide the IP address of that and P and provide the port number and S provide the password what you have given while installing it and iPhone V is the option so which is a command called CPU load and I'm saying that uh, 5 minutes average 90 95% so you can see that so 5 minutes average load is uh, we could able to get the reply from the remote server so now uh, let's add this host into the not just configuration so before adding that so what we have to do is that we have to define some um, folder or we have to define some commands as well so let's see that check underscore nt is already exists or not so it's there so maybe we have to add few options here that one is uh, iphone s password we have to add 
password is password so I think that's it let's say this command is defined so we already defined the templates and uh, we are going to create some folders okay so let's edit the nagios.cfg file here and come little bit down and uh, there is a cfg underscore there dir equal to slash etc slash server so there is already folder name is defined so let's uncomment that and create this folder in slash etc so i already created under this and uh, change the ownership to the nachos so now then and uh, restart the service to take the effect yes restarted now go back to the servers location and uh, I'm going to add this server so vi.adc.takearkit.local.cfg so all the files should be uh, extension as .cfg so then only consider as a configuration file so now I'm just saying that host definition so I'm going to define the host define host and open bracket and use uh, I'm going to use the existing template what we have defined uh, at the first level use windows dash tech ARK IT and here define the host name host name is specify that adc dot techrkt dot local and provide the alias so description of the server windows active directory server active directory service server and add the address of that server 192.168.29.202 and if you want to specify the contact and contacts groups you can do that otherwise you can just close this bracket okay now define the services so let's say service definition and define service open bracket and use this template so which is service dash tech ARK IT and host name is same what we have defined on the host definition it should be same otherwise it won't work so service underscore description so you have to add the service which service you would like to add first so service description so maybe formatting would be good so if you hit tab so I'm just going to add ping first service and check underscore command so the command for checking the ping service is check underscore ping so 100.0 20% and I'm defining critical is 500.0 and 60% packet loss comma 60% and uh, close this bracket so again copy paste this and service description add this new service description here so I am just adding NS client plus plus version and check underscore command check underscore NT client version so that is an argument and again copy this defined service until the service description so it should be same same right so so I'm adding the contacts here contact is uh, Ravi 
and contact underscore groups is admins so again add contacts the the contact should be matching with the contacts.cfg file whatever you had defined on this contacts.cfg file okay so admins let's copy paste the same and define the new service called uptime check underscore command and the uptime is check underscore nt uptime and uh, copy this contacts and contacts group paste it here and close the bracket and I'm going to define one more service this is C drive space check so C drive space and check underscore command Oh, sorry I accidentally hit you so it's deleted the definition so I have to define it again so again I am going to define the uptime check underscore NT uptime and add the contacts and contacts groups so again copy paste this until the host name and the C drive space check underscore command and define the command check underscore NT and uh, use use space use the disk space which is the value and uh, iPhone L we are going to provide the argument is C drive iPhone V is iPhone warning is 90% time critical is 95% so whenever the drive reaches to the 90% it send the alert uh, then if it is close to the behind 95% also it send the alert saying that critical service so and we can define few more So I'm just picking up some of the service from here. So we add the service status. Okay, so ADC maybe you just add the service status here. So define the service again. Service description. So let's say that uh, what is the service name we have here? Active Directory Domain Services status and check underscore command check underscore NT service state and provide the iPhone L and service name iPhone D show all iPhone L NT DS so the service name you should provide not the description and add this contacts and contacts group name so just uh, contact groups it's not contact actually contact groups there is a yes so it's a contacts and uh, save this configuration file and let's verify again so we have defined few services here host and services now let's verify Nachos. okay you can see that there is an error could not add the contact group Nachos admins to the host okay so there is a error which means that we there is no maybe a, there is no configuration file so 
maybe we have to edit the template.cfg file and see that there is no maybe there is a Najos admins is defined on the contact group but uh, there is no Najos admins group is exist on the context definition so let's edit slash usr local Najos objects templates.cfg file and go to windows dash tech ARK IT template yeah so there is a Najos admin is defined so we just replace that Najos admins with admins here and save the file and again try to verify the Najos file so again it says that there is a contact is mismatch so there is no contact file so now let's go to contacts.cfg and you can see that so the contact name is Ravi okay now let's correct that edc dot edit that configuration file and replace a ravi with ravi okay and save the file and now again verify the Najos configuration okay it looks good so there is no issues now let's uh, restart the Najos service and head back to the Najos console here and see that refresh this and you can see there is a windows host is added so it takes a few minutes to check this configuration or maybe a five to six minutes to come off the services to green let's wait for a few minutes and check it the console back again okay you can see that so the C drive space check is came okay which means that the definition whatever we defined which is working fine that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses if you want to join the uh, whatsapp group the link is given below on the description click on the link and join the whatsapp group for connecting with more technical people.